I'm Tom J. Null. I'm an illustrator, artist working in Sheffield, UK. I work with uh, different companies on different stuff, like we did this thing with the SpongeBob toy and um, I guess like graphics for skateboards. This is an ongoing thing with Northern Monk where I'm doing a series of beer cans. They're all gonna stack up into like a totem pole. This is for Vans, uh, the flagship store in Oxford Circus where I was hand decorating customers' shoes as they were buying them. Uh, and there's always uh, my own kind of artwork just for uh, exhibitions and stuff and everything um, kind of starts life out on the drawing board. Stickers are consistently like a, something I always try to have on hand uh, with print orders and stuff. I'm, I'm always sending out free stickers. Yeah, this, this project has been really good to kind of tie that all in, rope in for four of my favourite independent businesses from the area and I wanted to get a bit of a range with the four different things uh, so the lizard character is kind of on a I guess if he's on a shopping experience he's getting a bit bit of everything there he's having a coffee he's having something to eat he's getting a record he's he's buying a skateboard I think Sheffield is uh, really good on creating a community within those independent businesses where especially within this area they're quite close together they all kind of know each other the forum shops um, where bear tree records is based was um, somewhere where i just had an exhibition to in Art artcade gallery so it was kind of good to tie all the visuals in and uh, kind of have little overlapping uh, themes and uh, imagery so um, there was the bear sculpture that I was working on as part of the show I was kind of live drawing and completing that for a hospital charity and I was able to sneak the uh, lizard character as a part of the design for that too. So music is a constant um, inspiration that kind of runs alongside visual work I suppose. I've been a musician before I'm a, I'm still a, a working DJ, I, I do regular sets at a local bar, uh, I'm a record collector, um, regularly shopping at Bear Tree and, and other shops and digging for uh, old records. Yeah, it all, it all kind of ties in, there's like visual elements that I always hide in, into the, the visuals uh, that reference certain tracks and stuff that, that only pe certain people might pick out. Uh, so I guess my work is recognizable from how that came about was by default really I was kind of working on gig posters way back when I was just putting them into a photocopy and stuff I, I kind of at the time I was working a lot with biros and I was getting lots of textures and grays and stuff but finding how something would work best to uh, photocopy it or early scanners was I, I kind of kind of took all the greys out in the end and I was just working contrast black and white and the the work kind of came out of that. Uh, so this character it was kind of tying in the the phrase stick with independence which was obviously a reference to sticker app and the and the project being based around stickers but I wanted to have that another meaning that might tie the character in so I got the the kind of lizard with its st sticky tongue to like stick to the the different products he was uh, buying and stuff. I work on these small sketchbooks with like a brown paper just to take the edge off of the daunting aspect of like filling a white page. I kind of work things up to um, the finished piece where I'd work on paper. So I'm mostly working with um, Posca pens just to get that really flat black like I, I can't find any better black than that to work with. So then I'll just scan in the inks and I don't use too much on uh, Photoshop 
but it's just a basic scan. So I suppose some of the faults would uh, only really be uh, visible to me, but it's just kind of cleaning up some of these points, I guess, and getting, getting it as perfect as I can. So a lot of my work, I would maybe leave it in black and white, or uh, if it was a, an original painting, I would uh, work in black and white. But when we came to this project, I wanted to inject a bit of color into it. So I came up with this palette. Um, I think I sampled the, the four main colors. Uh, I was looking at a lot of vintage uh, printing processes and uh, we kept the four colors for the different brands, but just kind of switched them around to give to give each version uh, a different different colored lizard. So with the smaller stickers that we wanted to give out to customers and stuff, uh, there was uh, we got the holographic shine um, stock to kind of bring a different dimension from what we were using on the, the matte stock uh, sticker, the floor stickers. We didn't know it beforehand, but when we turned up to each venue, uh, it was like four completely different floor surfaces. There was like a sto uh, concrete, concrete floor, a laminate wood, a real floorboards, and uh, like a, a rubberized um, flooring. And the, the, the floor stickers just worked really well with, with whatever we were uh, came across. Um, went straight down with the squeegee and uh, no bubbles and uh, yeah, it all, all went well with the application. So yeah, I'm really happy with how everything went and all the businesses and the people who we spoke to today seemed to be uh, really chuffed with how they went down and um, the stickers of we got, we managed to get really good positions for each, each venue and um, it's going to be really durable and uh, I think they're going to stay there with the businesses representing the, the artwork and, and sticker app for a while. Uh, yeah, it's been a great project to work with sticker app and, uh, and, and to be able to bring in all these independent businesses and uh, yeah, it's been fun.